Hey guys, my name's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today I felt like being a little chaotic. I wanted to try and finish the Villainous Valentine Aspiration in The Sims 4. So enter our main character, Mia Williams. Here are her outfits right here. Mia is non-committal, she is hot-headed, and she is also a kleptomaniac. And today we are going to try, well not today, but throughout this series we are going to try and finish the aspiration. And if you are not familiar with this aspiration, you have to be, I believe you have to be caught cheating 10 times, you have to break up 10 couples, and I believe there is, I think you have to have about five enemies if I remember correctly. But yes, I have chosen her likes and dislikes and I have chosen a certain type of man that she would want to date in Woohoo. But honestly, we're going after anyone in a relationship. That is our plan right here. So, if you want to hear more about the series, don't forget to like and subscribe, and, you know, let's get started. Alright, so I think we're going to live in Windenburg, and live more in the, the little town, but I don't think we're going to be here for that long. My plan is for us to quickly get into a relationship and move in with them. But for now, obviously, we need, like, a nice little house, so we're just going to move into this little starter home right here. And luckily, it's in our price our price range. So here is our tiny little home right here. It's very modest, very European. And I was going to redecorate, but honestly, like I said, we're not going to be here that long. So let's go ahead and travel. We have to find our first victim. And we're going to start with our favorite family, the Goths. Okay, now some of my favorite families to break up in The Sims 4 are usually the Goths, the Edos, and every now and then I will try for the Bailey Moons. But normally I don't because I don't want to redecorate that entire mansion. I have no interest in it. But luckily I feel like... Mortimer is pretty easy to sway. He's already liking our advances and now we have a rude man coming and interrupting our conversation. Now remember, Mia is hot-headed, so she gets spicy very quickly. So she's already doing a rude introduction. She is so annoyed with this man. She's like, why are you in our conversation? I'm trying to persuade him to leave his wife. Like, come on. Like, get out of here, dude. Come on. See, I'm scary. Don't mess with me. Leave, leave us alone. I'm trying to scope out this house, too, because I want to steal stuff. Like, she's so annoyed. She's already cursing at him. He's like, ew, you're such a rude woman. She's like, go eat underpants. Get out of here. And now she's trying to steal his money, and they are fighting right outside of Mortimer's house. Hopefully he doesn't see any of this, but... Who's going to win the fight? Our, I'm pretty sure our fitness level is non-existent, so I don't have faith. Yeah, she got beat up. She's been in this world for two seconds and she gets beat up for stealing money. And he's yelling at her. So, let's, you know, wash, wash our face and, like, talk to Mortimer some more. We're a little dazed and embarrassed. And, of course, he's having tea with... But, you know, I think we're going to interrupt their little conversation and, you know, exchange phone numbers. Just so, you know, we can keep in contact in case him and Bella, you know, get into a fight or something. You never know what could happen here in, you know, ye old Willow Creek. You know, he should keep, keep his options open. Oh, and now she's, she's big mad. She's big upset. She's like, how dare you ask for his number right in front of me? She's like, I just moved here. I just moved here, you know? Like, what, your husband can't have other friends it's not my fault i'm pretty and of course she slaps bella like how dare you say i can't have any friends like sit down take a nap relax and take a nap and now i am going to do something with your husband you know what let's go get wicked in the living room because why not your wife's asleep anyway bella's like what is going on in my house well mia is you know mrs still your man she is Mrs. Still Your Man in her possible new house. And after the wickedness, they are fighting because Bella is upset. 
And she's like, come on, I didn't even slap her that hard. Like, calm down. He's like, enough, you need to leave. She's like, whatever, I'm out of here. I don't want to live here anyway. But of course, before we leave, we're going to steal a little sculpture for our troubles. We did get into a fight before before we came into this house. So let's go. We're hungry. I need to take care of her needs. We're out of here. All right, so we are back at home and she is cooking some dinner. And you know, I we're pretty lonely. It's better to, you know, cook with someone else if you know what I mean. So maybe we should invite someone over to, you know, get to know them a little better. Did you watch the new episode? You know what, more and more perfect timing. Why don't you come over and you can help me cook dinner? Wait, what? Bella's, Bella's gone? Bella, Bella's dead? Did Mortimer unalive Bella when we were gone? We were just at their house like five seconds ago. How did, how is she no longer here? What happened? What happened to Bella? She's, this is a new Let's Play. She's been alive for like five seconds. And here's Mortimer. He doesn't even look sad, but he's going in our closet to cry. Well, we're, since you're now single, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go somewhere else. Let's go to Mount Corraby, to my other favorite family, the Edos, because they have a nice house. And apparently, Nyoki and his wife are doing the do, which, okay. And I'm editing this right now, and I did not realize you can see them in the background, so, you know, we're gonna hide that. And of course, we're gonna swipe another lamp, and since they are now done, Let's talk to Nioki, who I forgot is actually a celebrity. So it's gonna take a little bit more effort to get his attention, which is fine. We're a very charming woman who has a lot to say and apparently who is very itchy. I don't get why my Sims keep itching. Hey, you know what? We're gonna lock this down. I know he just got finished doing the do, but you know, we're gonna gonna get wicked in the bed that he just got wicked with in his wife because you know why not we like this house we like Mount Corraby and we want to live here so you know let's persuade him with our womanly wilds and of course you know everything is protected here we don't want unwanted children and he per we perceive him as attractive so you know that's a bonus so you know we're gonna talk him about we're gonna do some flirting we're gonna put on the charm. We're gonna let him know, like, hey, I really, really like you. And we could have the, have the first kiss. Yeah, I like I like food too, you know. I could make food for you in this house when I live here. And of course, we're gonna have the first kiss. Wasn't that so cute? We are not wasting any time here. Let's go ahead and ask him to be our boyfriend. And then after that, we have to convince him to leave Megami, which I believe that's how you say his wife's name. So we have to convince him to leave his wife and then that will be one couple that is broken up. Yep, we are not gonna waste any time. We are going to try and lock this down. It is like, four in the morning and they are both exhausted and starving but we just need to convince him like hey i will make a great stepmom i will be an amazing housewife we could have all of the dinner parties and you know what that's not a bad idea i think once we get into a new relationship we'll have a dinner party which will be you know an opportunity to find a new boyfriend and since we do have to get caught cheating 10 times, it'll make things a little easier. And now, just to convince Megami that, you know, I have stolen your man, we're gonna get wicked right in front of her. And she is devastated, and Kiyoshi is very much unaware and does not care. So yeah, I think, you know, she's pretty convinced. This is pretty damning evidence that, you know, the boy is mine, which sucks as they very much woohooed like a few hours before, and now the boy is mine. Alright, here's our chance. We can convince him to leave spouse. This is the moment of truth. 
we need him to leave his wife and he will be our first victim down and he's decided to leave her they're getting a divorce and of course you know we have to move in and you know we're just gonna switch houses and we're gonna give her twenty thousand dollars because she is going to be raising the kids but we're gonna be living in this nice little mansion all right the deed is done we have our first victim and a new house to live in in a new neighborhood and i think that is very successful we have a lot of income now and now our sweet boyfriend is gonna go to work all right that's the end of this episode right here we are one broken couple down and in the next episode i think we are going to try and meet some more people and have a dinner party to you know get up to some more shenanigans this is our chaotic oh and she is still at our house we're going to do something about that but yes this is our chaotic let's play let me know if you enjoyed this ser this first episode and i'll see you guys in the next one bye